you probably want your website to load faster, be more secure, and maximize its uptime. These are some of the benefits when using a content delivery network like Cloudflare. Anyone with a domain name can benefit from using these type of services. The best of all is that some of these benefits can be used with Cloudflare free plan. My name is Carlos and today we will talk about CDN or Content Delivery Network and how your domain name can benefit from using it. A Content Delivery Network is a service that works between your website and your visitors. Imagine your website on one side of the world, let's say for example in New York, and your visitors are all around the world. Your visitors' request need to travel long distances to reach your website. When your domain names use a CDN, your website will be replicated in many services located all around the world. The result, your visitors' request will need to do a quite short trip to reach your website. It is like if your website were hosted in multiple servers and almost just around the corner for your visitors. Also, because of the CDN, the server where your website is hosted will receive much less traffic and will be able to work faster. In case of an attack, your website will be protected by the CDN. It analyzes and filtrates the traffic, blocking malicious traffic. These are some of the most evident benefits from using a CDN. Now, when you register your domain name, you will need a DNS provider to propagate your domain DNS records over the internet. The DNS is what will allow your domain name services like your website or your email to be reachable and discovered by anyone connected to the internet. Here, by the way, I have a video that explains what the DNS does. Most of the registrars, I mean the organizations where you register your domain name, provide the DNS service for your domain. However, in some cases, it might be limited or do not offer all the benefits of a CDN or content delivery network. There are some countries' extensions, or TLDs, that do not offer the DNS service at all. When you use a content delivery network like Cloudflare, part of what you get is the DNS service. It will allow you to edit all your DNS records for your domain name, regardless of your web hosting, email provider, or even the company where you register your domain name. Cloudflare is a company that provides a CDN on the different plan. Their base plan is free, and it offers all the benefits that we just mentioned here. There are other plans, not free, that you can also evaluate depending on the type of business you have or how critical it is, and how much protection you need. In this video, we will focus our attention on the free plan and how to start using it for your domain name. First, you will need to have access to your domain name registrar to editing your domain DNSs. Let's now jump to our computer and I will show you what you need to do to start using this service. First, we will need to access Cloudflare website which is cloudflare.com. So here we are already at cloudflare.com. We can check here the different plans they have. We click on pricing and we can click on compare all plans. We will see here the different plans they have. And as we said during the introduction, we will focus our orientation on the free plan. If you don't have an account, you just need to click on sign up if you already have an account, you click on Login. When we click on Sign Up, we will reach this page where we will need to enter our email address and we will create a password. And then you will need to click on Create Account. In the next step, we will be asked to enter our domain name. Once we enter the, our domain name, we need to click on Add Site. So now let's see the process when we enter our domain name. Since we have an account, we will need to click here and we will enter our email and password. Now we have access to our Cloudflare account and we can see here that we have, already, we have already added two domain names and we will add a new domain name just to illustrate the steps that we need to follow if we want to add a new domain name to our Cloudflare service. Something that we noticed here 
is that you can now register new domain names with Cloudflare. You can also transfer domain names to Cloudflare as well. To add a new domain name to Cloudflare, we need to click on Add Site. So here we need to enter our domain name and we are going to add one of our demo domain names. Our domain name is itb.xyz and then we click on Add Site. Then we need to select a plan. In this case, we are going to select the free plan. We click here to select it and then we click on Continue. At this moment, Cloudflare is verifying DNS record for our domain name. And here is the result of all the DNS record for our domain name. At this point, we don't need to change anything here. We just want to keep all the DNS records as they come from the previous DNSs. Then we click on Continue. Now we can see here, these are the current DNSs. And Cloudflare is telling us that we need to use these new DNSs. That's what will make our domain name to work with Cloudflare. Then we should copy the name servers. Then we need to click to copy. And now we need to go to our registered admin panel to change the DNSs. We have the tab already open here. And here we have these four domain names that we have registered with this company. The domain name that we want to add to Cloudflare is itb.xyz. And then we click on manage. Here we need to select name servers or DNSs. And here we see the current DNSs. We are going to replace this name for the one that we copy from Cloudflare. We just copy the first one. Let's go back to Cloudflare page. We copy the second one and we go back to the registrar admin panel. And then we replace this value and we paste the new value that we copy from Cloudflare. These are the only changes that we need to do in order to activate or start using Cloudflare for our domain name. Then we need to click on update DNS servers. Name servers has been successfully updated and then we can go back to the Cloudflare admin panel. Cloudflare is telling us that it could take up to 24 hours for our name servers to be updated. It doesn't mean that we are going to have any interruption. It's just telling us that it will take 24 hours. Then we need to click on Done, Check Name Servers. Now we will find three steps that Cloudflare is asking us to review. My suggestion is to leave those settings by default at least for now, we can click here. We can see that HTTPS is on. We click on save. We can leave this value by default as well. Click on save. We will save here as well. Auto mini five. And we can also save this one the broadly. Now we have finished this configuration and then we click on finish. So we now have almost completed the steps that we need to follow. All what we need to do is click on check name servers. As we can see here, Cloudflare is now checking the main servers for our domain name and we may wait a few hours. So this process is automatic. We don't need to do anything here. We just need to wait and probably can take up to 24 hours. We can go back by clicking here on this arrow. As we can see here, our new domain name within Cloudflare is pending name servers update. We don't need to do anything here. Once the name servers has been updated, our domain name will start working and getting the benefits that we just mentioned during the introduction. And we don't need to do anything else here. And this completes the steps that we need to follow. After a few minutes, we came back to our admin panel in Cloudflare and we found our domain name is now active. Cloudflare offers a service that you can start getting benefits from by just changing some settings for your domain name. And if you use their base plan, you don't need to pay anything. I hope you find value in this video. If you do, please click the like button. It helps to spread the voice of this channel and also help me to continue creating content like this one. If you have any comment or questions, just leave it here down below. And if you want to see more videos like this one or want to find this one easily in the future, please click the subscribe button. Remember, it is free. Thank you and I hope to see you next time.